Group your favorite side. Yeah. Just so you know, SB is home, so if you want to be the villain, go ahead and vote for Tempest now. <laughs> Using your mobile device, <laughs> please vote now. <laughs> Of Sonic versus Smart. I feel like Sonic has the tools necessary to get through um, Mark's disjoint with his sheer speed, and uh, Tempest is no slouch. This must just be a button check. Um, maybe not. <laughs> no, I'm gonna just say it's real match. All right, so. All right, so we're jumping right in. Yep. Ooh. Oh no! Oh. He was waiting for the air dodge there, but. Yeah, smart on Tempest's uh, behalf. Yeah, it's just that Sonic has is it's really pretty well against Mark. I feel like it's just springing out of those combos he goes for. And I think the biggest problem for X-Crescent in this matchup is not just Sonic's sheer speed, but if you ever watch the way Tempest moves around the stage, he is very unpredictable. You never know when he's going in or going out. And they're both hacking on a lot of damage really quick. I would say they're being reckless, but these are two really good players, and I'm sure they know exactly what they're doing. Both trying to hold their own space. Tempest trying to get in. x trying to keep him out. Ooh, Ooh. Gets, tries to get the jab to F-Smash. He knows that combo and jumps out. Of the I'm not quite sure what moves if Sonic has that kill. I know F-Smash is very... Just like that. The commentator's curse is real. I'm gonna just stop talking. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that. He has back air, of course, or up air. I know back throw is pretty good, but I think a lot of the uh, Sonic players underrate back throw. But I'm just, you know, yeah. I don't know Sonic. All right, uh, X Crescent, the King of Edge Guards. Ooh, very wow. nice mix up there. Is that up air? Is that right? Yeah, I believe so. Oh, it's nice. Very interesting. Uh, Never seen that He's got a lot of weird, um, I don't know what it's, I want to say mix-ups, but it's not. Like, jab one into, like, F smash or up air or something. Like, very, a lot of confirms off of hits you didn't think would confirm. He does his character very well. He's making oh, yes videos he does. of it. He does what he's doing. Ooh. All right, X Crescent. Like I said, King of Edge Guards. He's really good at this. Oh. Yeah, Tempest solid. learning that he can up beat out of uh, most of those combos. You'll see him doing it a lot. He actually just tried it right there in Dancing Blade. Ooh. Ooh, and the Shield Breaker almost coming out. That's springing up here. Man, this is a very close match, and it's so fast there paced. It is. The tipper F smash will end up hitting Sonic. Man, this is a ridiculous game. That went by so fast, but it was not one sided at no. all. That could have gone either way. Especially with. Because Tempest even took the first song, and then X Crescent brought it right back. I know, X Crescent. What do you think Tempest needs to do differently this match? I feel like he played a bit of a spacing game a bit too much. But also, at the same time, he needs to not get hit when he's going in. So he almost needs to play a spacing game. Exactly. He just needs to know when he's safe to go in and when he's not. Duck Hunt, I think, is a beautiful counter pick. Um, he won't be getting able, uh, be able to get killed off the sides as much. And he can kind of go in as he likes, kind of zoom around the bottom. That's a FD like stage, plenty of room to work exactly. around. And I think uh, Sonic has a good edge guard with his up B against uh, Marth's up B. And already shown here, it's paying off in this counter. Oh, yes, of course. No, it's. Express and trying to work his way back in. Oh man, Tempest is making a commanding comeback with this counter pick. Tempest is trying to look and do his normal oh, side combos, can't. trying to find a spring maybe to up air. I feel like sealing out the stocks is be the hardest part for him on the stage. Exactly. Uh, one thing I noticed Tempest is doing is he's staying in the air a lot, which most people don't like, but it's kind of working out for him. Uh, Marth is getting a few extra hits because of this, but um, it's still even, so... Could still be anybody's game. Oh, the dog? No, no jank. Wow. That will kill. Okay. Just called him out on that in front forward time. I think Tempest can come back. I mean, obviously, Mars said 113, and that's, you know, kill percent, but, uh... But like, like you said, he's still struggling to get that kill. Ooh. 
He's got to be careful too, because he's, if he's fishing too hard for that kill, he's going to get punished for it. Yeah, and I think what X-Treston is realizing now is whenever he uh, starts to spin dash, just hold shield and, uh, you know. Yeah, there's not much you can do about it. Yeah. Tempest looking like he's having a hard time finding a way in. I, I blinked and we're at 77% already. So, um, Tempest going to have to be putting in work for this. He really needs to get this kill. Oh boy. Doesn't want to be above Marth. It's a really... Going into this, I thought this would have been an even matchup, but it looks like it might just be in, in oh. Marth's favor. In the SD. Anyways, but still, it was still a very, very well fought game between both players. Um, regardless of that 2-0 at the end and 2-0 uh, set count, but uh, both players playing really good. I think one thing that x was doing really well was just the way he would like keep him out when he wanted to and then move in, like especially that second game, after he couldn't take the stock with that range, just racking up the damage just so fast. Yeah. He's doing a good 